Well, everyone, the iPhone 8 is one of those devices that just keeps getting better throughout time. It's been one of my favorite phones of all time, and it's only gotten better. And with the iPhone 13s coming out and all these new phones, it just makes sense for us to kind of, you know, see how long this older iPhone will last. Now, the iPhone 8 came out in 2017, and theoretically, this phone is not going to be outdated probably anytime soon by the next two years. But the weird thing is, is that I've been saying the iPhone 10 now Stay with me, the iPhone 10 is going to last as long as the iPhone XS and XR, and it kind of makes sense. I mean, the iPhone 8 does have the same chipset with the iPhone 10, so it's not like the iPhone 10 is going to outlast the iPhone 8, they're going to stay exactly the same. So, in my opinion, the iPhone 8 is going to last probably as long as the iPhone XS and iPhone XS Max and XR in terms of software longevity. Now, just because a phone is supported with software doesn't mean it's always going to be, you know, the best phone to pick up, but performance wise and feeling wise, wireless charging, touch ID, the cameras on this thing uh, this thing is a full package for sure and it's not like this thing is a bad phone just because the new ones come out and that is just the fact and that is the most important thing to keep in mind so yesterday the iphone 7 we talked about or the day before we pretty much said that the iphone 7 is probably going to be outdated within the next year and a half the iPhone 8, in my opinion, even though it only came out a year after, I feel like the iPhone 8 still probably has like three and a half more years of, of longevity. And I know that sounds crazy, but this is kind of my thought process. The iPhone 8 is going to last as long as, you know, a, a year after what we were expecting. So the iPhone 8 is going to be getting iOS 15, 16, and quite possibly iOS 17. Now again, I'm not 100% too sure, but that's kind of what I'm seeing. And then after iOS 17, it will probably get like a year of security updates, just like the iPhone 5s and the iPhone 6 both got so that's another big thing I mean that could end up being the case I don't know if that's always 100% going to be the case but that's kind of what I'm seeing right now so if that ends up being the case and that's super super crazy I guess we'll see what happens there but I mean that's essentially super crazy stuff in my opinion so that's kind of what I'm seeing right now it could possibly be that the iPhone is going to be outdated like tomorrow I mean I don't know 100% fact I feel like this is one of those devices that will end up probably getting you know software support for so long that I would would probably stop recommending it even when it's getting software support even like something like an iphone 5s iphone 6 as those phones got software updates it's just like there's not really a huge point to continue to pick it up mostly because it's pretty much you know outdated in so many different ways so take it as you will but that's essentially how i'm kind of seeing this device if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would be so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so me so much if you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my other channels more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then